Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, how to do the next part of your Balsa Bridge project by creating a assembly of our Balsa Bridge as well as a drawing file to include the dimensions that we'll, we will need for us to construct the bridge uh, using the actual Balsa wood. So, the first thing you're going to do is now come down to the assembly one tab at the bottom okay we already have our part studio one so now we're going to click on assembly one tab and we are going to be inserting our part studio so we're going to select insert up here on the toolbar and we're going to select part studio one once you select that um, and move your mouse over into the graphics window here, you'll notice it's kind of highlighted in gold and it's kind of moving around. So we're just going to click one time in the open space. Once we've clicked one time, now you can go ahead and hit the green checkbox. And next, we're going to come down to one of our pieces, um, usually on the base. So I'm going to select my base piece. I'm going to kind of hover over it and then I'm going to right click and select fix. So that prevents the uh, whole body to stop moving once we uh, constrain or eliminate all the movement of the part. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and then I'm going to move my mouse up into the left-hand corner of the screen and then left click and hold and drag so I'm kind of highlighting the entire bridge. When I do that, notice now it is, again, all highlighted in gold. And this time I'm going to come up to the toolbar and I'm going to select the group constraint. Okay, it's this icon right here. You click it one time. Again, if you've highlighted everything, it should be selecting all of your components and all, all those parts. And then we just hit the green checkbox. And then if we go back to isometric view, now if I go try to move those parts, they are no longer moving around, okay? They are now constrained to each other and you have a solid structure. Now, the next step is to go ahead and create a drawing file. And this is going to be used as our template when we go to construct the bridge by hand. So this time we're going to come down to the plus sign next to Part Studio, click that one time, and we're going to select Create Drawing. When you select Create Drawing, you want to make sure you're selecting ANSI underscore A underscore inch, okay? If it's not there, you can come up here and select ANSI here, and it will be the first option. But if it's there under All, that's the one you're going to select, and you click OK. Give it a second and it's going to load the drawing. And then we're going to select our bridge again. But this time we're going to come over here in our window and select assemblies. And then you're going to choose assembly one. When you choose assembly one, most likely it's giving you a profile view, just as you did in your drawing of your bridge. And that's the view that you want. If you were needed to change the view, if your front is not your profile, then you would need to change it here in view orientation. But we also need to increase the size because it's obviously very small. So we're going to click down here where it says view scale. I'm going to slide it up and I'm going to choose one to one. Now my bridge is much larger and I want to make sure I place it in between the border. Okay, so it's not outside of the border like this. Okay, you want it inside the border there. And then you're going to click one time. Now that your bridge has been placed, it wants to place in another view of your bridge. So you're going to come up to projective view and click that one time and that'll turn it off. Because all we're going to use for our drawing is the one uh, profile view of our bridge. Next, we're going to come over to the right hand side of the screen and click on the little wrench. Okay, and the next thing we're going to edit are our units. Currently, it's going to uh, provide the units in inches, which is what we want. But since we did all our dimensions in fractional inches, we want to make sure we choose that. So we're going to select inches fractional. 
Then we're going to change our precision to 1 16th of an inch because that was the smallest dimension that we used on our ruler. And next, we're going to go to the second icon, which is the dimensions icon. And we're going to change our text height to 1.175 and then hit enter. And then you can go ahead and close the wrench. Now we're ready to go ahead and dimension our bridge. And so what we want is the basic dimensions that we would need to know in order to build our bridge. So I'm going to select the dimension tool up on our toolbar. And if I click here, it's probably not going to select everything because I have these other parts here. So I'm going to click the corner. Okay, corner of the top, the other corner of the top, and I drag up, and then I'm going to place my dimension in the middle. Okay, we don't want it off to the side or way over here. We want to try to place it as much in the middle as we can. And then you're going to do all the other parts that you would need to know for your bridge, all the main parts. Okay, so here's 10. Okay, I, would, I might need to know this angle. To do an angle, okay, you click on the angled line, the interior angled line, and then you choose the top edge of the base, and then you could get an angle here. Okay, uh, if you needed a dimension on the outside, the length of this angled piece, you can click on the outside and drag. Okay, if you needed the vertical piece, click on the inside and drag. Now you don't need to repeat any of the dimensions that are, uh, you have multiple components that are the same. So for example, the vertical piece here, I know is the same as the vertical piece here. So I wouldn't need to dimension both of them because they're going to give me the same dimension two and three eighths. So any piece that is different, you'd want to dimension. If it's repeated in what you're seeing here, then you don't need to dimension it. And again, you're only trying to provide the information that you would need in order to build your part. And you're going to use this as your template. So uh, I believe I have all the dimensions I need because all my angle pieces are the same length. Uh, the angle degrees should be the same in between. Uh, and so if I were needed another dimension, I could figure that out. I, I might need, if I just wanted to know um, the dimension from this corner here to this, just to, so I had spacing here or this interior corner here to this interior corner here. Just for spacing purposes, I could include that. Uh, so when I'm planning out my bridge, I know exactly how far to, to place them. Um, I could include that. And then I'm going to come down to the title. Oh, actually, let me turn off dimension. And then I'm going to come down to the title. And I'm going to double click. And then I'm going to type in Balsa Bridge drawing. And then just hit the uh, text box there. I need my spelling and hit the text box once you have it. And there is your profile with dimensions for your drawing. You will then submit this to the classroom. Uh, and I will be able to grade your assembly and your drawing at the same time. And then you're going to print this out. So you're going to need to ask me how to print. Uh, we're going to, and you're going to need to use your Chromebook to print it. So I'll walk you through that uh, when you're ready to print. Uh, but that is your next assignment, and you need to make sure you get that submitted to me soon. If you have any questions, please let me know.